we're going to go into that black police cruiser. That is a plain closed officer's car. There were two officers here when this happened. This is their assignment. They're supposed to be here outside of Lincoln as school lets out. They were here and they witnessed this all happened here. I want to bring up the video again. This just happened a short time ago and according to the officers there was a group of kids 16, 17 years old gathered outside of the pizza shop here. Things seemed calm but then the gunman showed up pretty much out of nowhere. He's a 21 year old and he opened fire. Now we talked to a neighbor nearby, he says he heard at least 15 shots and the end result again would be tragedy. Police say that 65 year old man had absolutely nothing to do with this, was driving by, he was shot in the head, he's dead. Okay, so I'm not gonna make this video too long but um you already know what i'm talking about if y'all seen that video in the beginning i hope it might get copyright claim i don't know but it's like this is crazy man it's, it's like this world is wicked the world that we live in is wicked it's just sad very sad it's like i, I really wasn't going um do a video like this, but I still was gonna do a reaction, but this just happened like today. So if you're still confused on what happened, basically, um the school that I go to is called Abraham Lincoln High School, right? So basically somebody got shot. Like at least two people got shot. You know what I'm saying? A 65 year old got shot in the head and a 16 year old who got, I think he got shot in the back of the head. It's like I I know this. I know this 16 year old that got shot. Alright, so basically, alright, let me tell y'all my side of the story. Well, actually not my side of the story, but this just happened today. Alright, so basically I'm at school, right? It is the other side. I wanted to leave school early because like, I had to really use the bathroom. So I decided to leave school early. This is like around fourth period. And like I went to sleep. As soon as I got home, I went to sleep at the uh, hand of my business, right? I went to sleep. I woke up, I was half awake, half sleep, you know. I heard helicopters, police sirens, and ambulance. Come to find out. A shooter. A shootout happened at school. It was like it happened after school. You know? It's just, it's just it's like, I can't believe that this is actually real life. This is actually real life right now. I can't believe that this actually happened. I was kind of at a loss of words. And it's truly sad because nowadays, hold up. It's just sad because a lot like nowadays, people are scared to fight. They're scared to lose a fight at that. So basically, what they'll do is they'll pull out a gun and shoot it. They'll shoot a person. It's like when they do pull out a gun and start shooting, they don't got proper aim. Come to find out, those two people who got shot was originally posted. I got shot. He like. If you go, if you go, if you go, like pull out a gun and shoot somebody, at least aim for your target. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not condone, I'm not, condone, uh, I'm not condoning gun violence or any type of violence. But the least you could do is aim, cause now you try to um, hit a target and like you shot two other people, you you like basically ended somebody's life, and it's crazy. All because of something. I, I, I already don't know why this happened, but it's like people really tend to don't like they don't think before they act. Like this is saying that's called for every action, there's a reaction. A lot of people are scared to lose a fight nowadays. All for street credibility street credibility. I don't know how to pronounce it. Street credibility or something. I don't know how to pronounce it, but um It's like the thing is, you don't have a license for this gun. You're using the gun illegally. 
I am, I'm so sorry because I really don't know how to talk right now. I am just stuttering like mad crazy. But thank, I mean, the 65 year old, unfortunately, he passed because he got shot in the head. But the 60 year old that got shot, luckily, he survived. It's like this, a, it's a bad joint. People really need to learn how to put the guns down. Cause like <sighs> Christ. I don't I don't even know. I'm just lost to words right now. It's late at night while I'm recording this. Cause I can't believe that this is actually real life. Like they don't think before they act. Like come to find out before the shooting happened, there's like a undercover cop. Like a there was an undercover cop waiting. And you see like a bunch of kids at a pizza store. Everything seems alright at first. And then that's when the shooter out of came out of the clear blue sky. And just started shooting. Like what sense did that make? Like this is just very like. This is just insane. If you think about it. Like you just like you just took somebody's life. And come to find out that wasn't even your target. Now, little do you know, you about to get caught. And when you do get caught, you about to do life in jail or in prison. Not no 10 years, no 20 years, life. So you basically inside that jail until you die. You know what I'm saying? You're in that jail until you die. There is no getting out. Why? Because you want to be beefing with somebody? Want to be beefing with a 16 year old? You was tw like, the shooter was 21 years old. You're, are you seriously beefing somebody who's 16? Are you serious? You are a grown ass man beefing with a minor. So you definitely about to get in some deep trouble. Why? Like, like, why? Cause you, cause you scared to fight him. Cause you, cause you scared that you was gonna beat you up or something. Even if you do lose a fight, that's way better than try to try to take take their life. Like, it's just so crazy how everything is glorified in this generation. Toxicity, like you see in the movies, you see it in the, you hear in the music. About how, like, rappers, they be snitching on themselves. Like, they be snitching on themselves. How, how they be shooting the ops, spin the block on the ops. Like, this is exactly what I'm talking about. It's just crazy. That's all I really had to say for now. I'm going to make a part two to this. More of the story. Learn how to put the gun down. Because, just, because, like... By you shooting somebody, that just proves to you how much, how, like, y'all really think y'all hard just because y'all shot somebody. Little do you know, if you get caught, that's your ass. You're done for. Like, I would rather lose a fight than have to shoot somebody and do life in prison. This... Like, this whole thing is just sad. Really sad.